is You Welcome with me, bitch, Marcella Arguello. Today's guests are David Bory and Kara Klink. David has a half hour Comedy Central special airing November 15th, and Kara is an amazing comedian and writer on RuPaul's Drag Race. So check them out, follow them on social media. Thanks for being here. Yes. Thanks for, Thanks having, for having us. My friends, how is everything? What's new? Kara with the baby, how is that? She's still alive. <laughs> she's we, still we're, alive, we're, 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 we're there, we're chugging towards the six month mark, and oh, she's wow. good. I just took her on her first flight last week. Whoa. Oh, how was that? And I didn't book a direct. I booked a oh, layover. No. Oh, oh, like man. an insane person. So she... I took her on four flights in no. four days. <laughs> Can she talk? Is that... She's five Six... months old. I don't know the numbers. He doesn't know. He doesn't know the kids. I don't know the scale. No, she can't, she can't even sit up. She can't. Can she roll over? Yeah. Okay, that's she the big one. She rolls over like a champ. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you, David? Nothing. <laughs> I love it. Great. Yeah, you know, I'm out here. No, you got a new place. I got a new place. Oh, Congrats. Yeah. yeah. I Big live boys by living on a... David and I were roommates, and it yeah. was a nightmare. I had yeah. to share a bathroom with David Bory. Yikes. I uh, shit, dog. He shit. And she burps. And I burp. I Have you burped I burp on her yet? and shit at the same time. You got to give the people what they want. I know. So I fart? Yeah, you should right burp. Right now? You should fart and show your feet. You're no. going <laughs> to... Can I get the numbers up? Yeah, yeah let's get you, you on WikiFeet. I'm on there. I'm rated OK. Ah! Oh, no. That's actually, someone told me that's a good rating. Wait, what? What were? You, when were your feet exposed on television? No, it's not about television. It's like social media. If you post oh. pictures. So, oh, like, like, if, you if you're, like, like a, at the beach, and you're yeah. like, oh, look at my little toes in the sand. Ah. They fucking. They find it? Dude, within, oh, OK, like, that's how you do it. All right, cool. With, I was like, yeah, why yeah. I didn't have a page? No, you got You have to post pictures All right, well, I'm going to Mexico next week, so. There you go. Yeah. Get them ready. Get a, you need to get on WikiFeed. Yeah. That's, a, that's the goal. Whatever creep is following this and wants to start on WikiFeed. What Please size foot are you? A, I'm a nine and a half. She's a nine and a half. That's a good size. <laughs> is that big good? Ass foot. That's, what are that's you? Not big, no, that's not a big foot. No. I'm a 13. Oh, is that right. what they like on there? I mean, <laughs> I think. I bet there's a market. I bet there's a market for the guys that like the I big feel ones. Like, oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Tarantino? He's obsessed with feet. Yeah. I yeah. Met, when I met him, I was like, and I was wearing like my Converse and my feet just looked like, oh, yeah. they looked like, they just looked huge. He was like, that's a and wide base on you. <laughs> Can you just see his boner through his pants? You could. This is as big as my foot. No, that's not true. There was a tweet that went viral by at the Yalitza, and she said, this man asked me out to coffee. I don't do coffee dates. Told him I do coffee for business meetings and with friends. Happy to get coffee with you as friends, she sent. His next text is asking me to dinner proper. Men know they just want to see if they can lowball you first. Do you think that's true? David, you're a man. David. David. I feel like taking a lot of straight weight on <laughs> right now. Uh, okay. I think it is true sometimes. Listen, lowballing is great. I practice it in my daily life. That guy I don't think was lowballing her, though, at all. I yeah. Think, I understand why she would think that. If he was trying to lowball you, he wouldn't go to coffee. He would go somewhere where he could convert still. Right, right, right. You know right. what I mean? He'd be like, let's go to the park. Yeah, what? That's what you're doing? <laughs> Those are the dudes? I'm open to <laughs> let's, anything. Let's man. go, to, let's the go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that's like, that's the example the of at the park. a guy who's yeah. like trying to be cheap. Yeah, but like, it's like, you're, he's not going to be like, let's go to Starbucks at noon where I get most of my sex. Right. right. Like, <laughs> it's not. So, but do you think that in a way, though, that's like trying in like the era of like Me Too and like stuff like that, that maybe guys are trying to come off as like, I really want to get to that know you. I don't want to like just take you out for drinks and then bang you right away. Uh, like, you know what? That's I mean, a great theory, Maybe they're Kara. trying to appear more approachable and like cool. That's why you're married, cool. because you're empathetic. Yeah. Maybe. That's why these bitches are still single. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that that's true. I think, though, also, the dudes who weren't fucking Razor Ramon or whoever Marcella's into, all the other dudes <laughs> were doing that always. Right? Like, yeah. Like, regular dudes, that's what they do. They're like, I like you. I want to Want to go to coffee. Yeah, it's like the Migos who doesn't do yeah. that. If and when you ask out women, are you lowballing them? Like, what's the strategy there? Uh, not anymore, because I'm not. Broke. You're not broke. Yeah. Well, even when I was broke, though, I tried to be like creative about it. I'd be like, let's go to the zoo. Oh, shit, it's free zoo day for everybody in the city? <laughs> I should come here more often. That's, that's creative, though. Yeah, that's, that's good. Free yeah. zoo day. Uh, if you live in San Francisco, the botanical gardens are free if you live in the city or you can get to that fence. And I can get over it, so it's not like that. Yikes, yeah, that's a strong fence. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's strong. You know, I'm crafty. 
<laughs> just cut right through yeah, it. Yeah, just go under. Uh. <laughs> That's cr I like that. Did Jared ever try to blowball you at the beginning? No. Well, we made out three She's times at three different parties, and then I was like, so see you again in two weeks. So and you lowballed yourself? And then he was yeah. like, no, I was being sarcastic, and he was like, no, no, let's go out to dinner. So our first like date date was was going out to dinner. Wasn't it technically that first makeout? Just no, making that's out a at a hookup. party. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. just a hookup. I didn't go home with him. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I I'm a substandard girl. I will say, like, I'm, I've been married for a little while and with him for a while, so, like, uh, my, a lot of my uh, dating is pre the apps. I did do, like, eHarmony and stuff like that, but Are it was pre apps. Are you religious? Pre -apps. I didn't know that. No, eHarmony's not religious. Yeah, it is. It's Christian. Well, Are you, you sure? Uh, yeah. But there was a big thing on it where you could say spiritual but not religious. Oh, that's what oh, I said. Okay. Tinder so, does not care about what. Oh, well, right, because they basically eHarmony was like a seventeen-tier system of questions to get to a person. It was exhausting. Yeah. And now they were like, oh, what if we just cut that all out and it's just fucking moving your finger across yeah. the screen? Tinder's just like, take your butt yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I will say, like, I would never go on any first date that didn't involve alcohol. Like, if they you were would like, never? I would like my sister was like, this guy asked me out to dessert once what? like he just asked her out to dessert like they just got coffee and dessert and it was so awkward because like I don't know in our 20s we just wanted to have like a drink or two right. but then I've also been on drinks where I've got a uh, dates where I've gotten like blacked out and then didn't, like go anywhere because then, that's what you, you get too drunk. If you got blacked out how do you know it didn't go anywhere? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it did. <laughs> Hashtag time's up Kara. <laughs> time's up on me. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I, if I were that girl, like in my twenties, I'd be like, yeah, fuck the coffee date. But now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, like I think it could have different meanings. Yeah. Well, yeah. When you're older, when you're younger, yeah. you're like, you want a guy to spend money on. Yeah. You. Well, I mean, it wasn't even like the money thing. I was just kind of like, let's get a drink. I don't want it to be awkward. I don't want to sit there and ask you about where you, you want went to, be to high loose. school. I want to be a little bit loose with yeah. a drink, you know, yeah. and like nighttime and darkness. The, and what are you gonna drink? It's like, after? do you want to do comedy in the middle of the day? Do you want to do comedy in a okay. park in the middle of the day? No, I mean, you want to do it. You could, but wouldn't you prefer to do it at night in a club in darkness with like one drink? I guess. Yeah, you would. Wait, here's my Comedy is dating. Comedy, oh, oh man. Wow. Uh, Bold statement. <laughs> Have you ever been lowballed when you're getting the dudes from the I halfway mean, house? Look, or whatever, I mean, look, Whatever it is you're into. When, when you're, you're, at the, when you're at the bus station yeah, thinking she, of cruising. When she's at her freestyle <laughs> rap battles. <laughs> David knows me oh too well. God. Chewing on a toothpick. I, <laughs> this is the best guest, co-guest I could ever have met. Uh, Marcella's first pickup street. lines is, so you just got out? <laughs> What's wrong with that pickup line? Nothing, nothing. That seems like a good way to meet a dude. So I'm you just, just open-minded. I'm just, I'm, ju I'm just saying that. I sound great in this scenario. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying Ice Cube isn't going to take you to the Botanical Gardens. You know, his all. son is a fan of mine. I bet he is. Mm -hmm. Oh. He watched me on At Midnight, and he was just Ooh. like, you're funny. And I was like, I agree. Where's your dad at? Where's the money at? <laughs> yeah. Tell your dad to call me. park. Um, <laughs> meet me at the Botanical I'm Gardens. <laughs> I'm a soft to, spot in the fence. I don't date. Like, I don't date. Right. I still don't date. I just like find dudes to hook up with, and then maybe we'll go from there. But I'm like, I've never cared about a, like how a guy takes me out or where he takes me out. I'm just like, if we're hanging out, we're hanging out. Yeah. And I also don't mind paying, but I like it's also why I'm single as shit because I have yeah, no be, standards. I have no don't standards. Be, don't be paying for these dudes. I, listen, if the as dick, a dude who's been paid no, for, as a, he only means you harm. <laughs> I know, but that's but I'm not looking for a long term relationship. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm like, oh, you know, mm. if the dick is good, I'll pay for the meal. And dudes have low standards <laughs> on getting paid for. It's like I feel like I went on dates where I split. I've also gone out with guys who like to spend money, and they're dickheads too. So yeah. it's for me. That's why I, I don't. Probably because of gangs. That's hard for you. <laughs> that's true. They were yeah. comics. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't you take. You want to know about their loyalty levels? Don't take comics. Don't take <laughs> you can marry them, but don't <laughs> date yeah, them. Yeah, marry them. Don't date them. <laughs> so yeah, I have no standards for men. That's really terrible. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, do you have a dick? Do you have a dick shaped food in your pants? You have to catch like me that. horny or something. And I'm just horny like, oh, wow, you are interesting, even though they're not. <laughs> That's why catching me after that Magic Mike show would have been a good chance you were for like, any man. Really like, who's ready? <laughs> who's ready? Who is ready? Because I am. Honestly, that's where everybody should, every single man should be just hanging out in the yeah. lobby outside of Magic Mike Live. That's okay, that's you a good so, idea. Women in are like, theory. women are like, men are okay, yeah. and I'm horny when they leave that show. That's what you say yeah. until I'm hanging out out front with a backpack, like, what's up, girl? You're like, like hey, nobody's... did you like the show? Hey, yeah. you want to go to the zoo, bitch? Yeah, <laughs> it's free day tomorrow. <laughs> 
So I wanted to talk about hecklers with my guest today. What is your worst or maybe best experience with a heckler? I've had a lot of women accost me. <laughs> Well, you know, women are the worst and most likely to be hecklers. For, in my experience, yeah, by mine far too. and away. Yeah. Like, yeah, I've had, like, I've definitely had show us your dick. What? Really? Yeah. It, uh, I like dirty these tricks. Girls. And, well, also, you said that to me. <laughs> Marcella, it used to also, be. Also, it was you. <laughs> when I didn't, no, when I didn't know her that well, she thought it was a funny bit. Like, it you'd is be a hanging funny out. Bit. And, like, especially. <laughs> me like, doing you know, men? Are you kidding me? Yeah, if you don't know her, and, like, I'd be like, oh, man, Marcella, she's like, famous comic she's from San and like I'd be at the bar like trying to be cool then she'd be like let me see your dick and then walk off <laughs> and then you ended up moving in with her yeah I was <laughs> he showed me his dick every morning yeah. <laughs> put it in my coffee one time in Iowa I had I don't know how to explain it. it was like a big giant woman who kept telling me she was gonna take me home and then her husband who was wearing all cowboys gear from head to toe oh boy. like a cowboy's yeah, hat yeah, pajama pants you it. get it you get it and they, yeah, they just, they kept trying to take me back. They're trying to a three-way? A, a fat boy three-way? It was, no. Here, okay, here's the crazy shit. He was tiny, she was like huge. Like short? And tiny, and slender. Uh, yeah, that's Jerry slender. Springer all the time. Huge woman <laughs> with a tiny little man. But then a third guy? Yeah. Big dude. He wants, he's trying to I get wasn't crushed. Even he's trying to get sandwich. Oh, yeah. he wants to get smushed. <laughs> he likes the smush. They needed another piece of bread. Oh, and it no. was you. Oh, no. <laughs> I was putting out bread vibes. <laughs> I was wearing shorts. I asked for it. You were asking for I was wearing, wearing shorts, shorts on stage. Showing off those sexual calves. Yeah, not even. I was hiding behind the table. Uh, yeah, but they were like, she just kept everything I said. She would be like, woo, come home! <laughs> and then he was. After every joke, after yeah, every setup, it was a and lot. every punchline. And I was like, and then I had to, you have to address it. So I'm like, are you okay with that, sir? And he's like, whatever she wants, she gets. Oh, wow. Yeah, so now I have another oh, so family. Oh, he was into Iowa. it. Yeah. I don't think he was, though. I don't think he had a choice. Yeah, I don't think he had a choice. She I think was a big it was gal. like, she was like, I'm bringing him home and you can watch. That's funny. Yeah, it was weird. What about you, Kara? I honestly, like, I was dreading this topic because I don't have a lot of heckling stories. Really? Like, I haven't been heckled a lot. That's and I know nice. that seems crazy, yeah. but I haven't had anybody be real. Like, my husband is a moth to the heckler flame. Like, they love him because he crowd works a lot. Oh, yeah. So he gets them, like, all the time. Like, I've seen him try to hug a Trump supporter. Like, I've seen a lot of, like... What? Shit go well, he, like this, he and this guy were fighting, and the guy got really, really, at, like, agitated. And then Jared's like, why don't we hug it out? And he was like, no. Like, <laughs> oh. um, Good for that guy. Stand yeah. your ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, but where was that? At Vermont Comedy Club. Oh, great. And I'm looking forward to be there. It's be, great. Be there it's too. the best comedy club. It's so good. I love the people that run it. It's such a good comedy club. And they have security, so like they get oh, up there great. if there's like somebody heckling. I would say like one of my only heckles was from another comedian. I don't know if you guys are familiar with me Mike also? Racine. Probably. <laughs> no, Mike Racine. Very funny comic, um, but also like an idiot. And he, I was broken up with my husband at the time. We had oh. broken up for six months. I was he, on a show where I was high. He was trying to fuck. No, no, no. He was dating my friend. But he, that doesn't mean anything. I had like, I had talked shit about Jared the night before to him when I was drunk oh, and I yeah. had like said all this stuff. So I'm venting. on stage the venting. next day. Yeah. And I'm on the next day at, at this show that's a high show. And he yells out like, say the Jared thing or whatever. And I was like, <laughs> and I go, Mike, are you fucking it, like, like, I think I said the R word, because it was 20, it was 2011. Raging but was, mad? <laughs> Good strong word. Uh, word. Yeah, but I was like, and, and and I was, I guess I count that as a heckle. Another comedian being an asshole. Yeah, I mean, I do that to people. Do you get heckled a lot? All the time. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I think that's so crazy, because like, I don't get heckled. And you but you do. have more polite comedy than I do. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I think it's like not even, I, I think it's like embarrassing almost to say I don't get heckled because it kind of assumes I don't take a lot of risks. You take a lot of risks and then I think that's why you Oh, yeah. she takes yeah. risks. That's why they heckle her. Well, not because she went up there with a box she, car. Look, if box, I was. Box cutter, like, if I was what you an motherfuckers want to fight? I, I'm friends with Marcel and if I were in an audience, I would feel nervous to heckle you. I feel like you yeah, seem are you like kidding? you I go bite the, my head off. I go yeah. to the back when she goes up. I don't want her to even yeah. know I'm in the room. <laughs> She's so a terrorist. I'm saying, I'm saying I'm surprised that you get it a lot. I had to do like the 10 p.m. in Oxnard. There was this chick there that was, I mean, they were just so drunk from the beginning, which is like already a bad sign. Yep. And it was a table. It was two women, two men. And the, of course, the women were just like so out of pocket. And then when yeah, I got Yeah, women up, are always screaming. They are. We are always screaming. I, and... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> bitches be screaming. Bitches be screaming. <laughs> And this fucking bitch <laughs> is just being hella out of pocket, and I and I find and 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 because I was talking shit to her because I was like this bitch is fucking out, like drunk out of her mind. But and the vet the venue was still bringing the bitch drinks as I'm saying she is out of control. They're oh, just man. setting drinks down to her, and I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? How are you bringing her more drinks? How desperate are you for money? Yeah. Eventually she gets kicked out, but the thing is, when she's getting kicked out, it looked like she was gonna charge the stage. And she was a big bitch, and I was like, oh, and Lydia Popovich, very great comedian. Yeah. Um, she was there with me opening, and she took her shoes off because she was getting ready to charge yeah. the stage in case she had Lydia. to. Yo, Lydia really is with the shit. Like, she is with the shit. But it was one of those things where I was like, I had to like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to like, I might, might have to fight this bitch. And I was like yeah. thinking about what shoes I was wearing because I was all dressed up to perform, and I was like, fuck, man, this is gonna be tough. What was your move gonna be if she if she came at you? Get your earrings out of your ears so you don't l rip a lobe. Exactly, you can't yeah. rip a lobe. Um, you gotta fucking, you gotta, you gotta get low with these get motherfuckers. Get low, yeah. Because because I'm tall. Because she's so tall, they, but she's thin. Yeah. So she doesn't have she a would, lot. There, yeah. right. Gotta, yeah, it's a different. Yeah. So you were gonna get low and tackle her? Get you low. Know, if I could, the bitch was big. She was a big bitch. She was a big bitch, and she was she was looking at she was gonna. And I even said like, this bitch is looking like she's about to hit me. Yeah. And they they finally escorted her out. And boy was I right because she the, waited for you. No. Oh. She was outside hitting the manager. She was punching the manager. Oh, they called man. the cops. The bitch was handcuffed. Oh my god! So I was like, "Yeah, she was ready to fucking fight me." Luckily, she the to manager fight me. took those hits. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, and it, and it was a man, so it was good. But yeah, but so yeah. in the end, win-win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have some questions to answer, and if you want any of your questions answered about life, love, anything that you need answered, submit these questions to youwelcomequestions at gmail.com. You guys ready for some questions? Oh, hell so yes. So much. How many dates do you wait before you Google investigate the person, or do you do it before? Oh, yeah, was, Google. What are you talking Google about? Google investigate. See, I, I figured David wouldn't know what this is about. Like, if you go out with somebody that you don't really know, like, or you meet them on Tinder or whatever, and I guess you figure out their last name, like, would you, you Google, Google them, them before you go on a date? A lot of women Google men because for safety reasons. Yeah. And they do investigative research about, like, what if these, yeah, because men are predators. Yeah. Negative dates before. Yeah, I think most negative one dates. Yeah, I before. think most women, if yeah. they can uh, obtain a last name, will Google yeah. a man. Yeah, you didn't know that, David. I'm pretty good on the internet, though. I know. Well, I mean, you have nothing to hide. You're no, a good dude. No, but yeah, you but should it's be just worried. Still, yeah, they're gonna be like, like voice of Comedy Central. Cha ching. Yeah. Let's go. That's on this also date. true. Google me, ladies. <laughs> At the G is silent. David Bory with the G. Uh, my sister would run background checks on guys she would date before she would. What? Whoa. Yeah. Like Lexus Nexus shit? She would run background checks. Yeah. Wait. What? What? So what could you find? It like let's Criminal say somebody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's say if somebody had been in trouble before, but not like he's a good guy. David Bory has been in trouble before, but he's a good guy. Yeah. But that's the thing is you can figure it out. You kind of put it together. You start looking at their social media now. Oh, man. There's so much social media. And like the list, if there's a criminal record. You I never knew that? No. Wow. I can also, can I say though that I don't think. No, you can't say, stop right there. <laughs> I don't think I keep Congress with the type of women who. That's what you think. You have don't know. readily access to the internet. You, what? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> But that's You're just <laughs> dating mole women. Yeah. <laughs> I listen. I they're beautiful to me. <laughs> the moles. He should have been here with step taller. <laughs> Some dude bit her mole. Anyways. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, they were hooking up. He bit no, her mole. No, 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 no. Update on step taller's mole. She's getting it removed. <laughs> Cause he did he bite it off. It didn't properly heal. Bro, man. Gross. I really try to like be like men are cool. And then you and then, like, you, yeah, like and then you and then you literally look at Steph Tolov's Instagram for one minute, yeah, and then you know oh, what men yeah. are like. Fucking nerds. Um, but that's but that's why we run background checks because you never know yeah. what kind of dudes you're gonna get so into. So do you guys do that? Yeah, but guys do it too. I had a guy on a date. Uh, granted, it was a second date. He started quoting my jokes to me. He like what? looked me up and watched that's my stand up. That's a nightmare. See, this that's is like why you, I don't date. But that's like you're a public. That I, that makes more. I was sense pretty to, new into comedy. It was kind of weird. That makes more sense to me than like. Him being like, let me see where she went to college. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I guess that's like, that's how I you just... Jokes are you doing it? Am I Googling men before? Yeah, you're yeah. like, let me see, Does he, where do you do time? 
Oh, yeah, I like them San Quentin I don't think dudes. it's like doing time. I mean, yeah, I guess it could be for safety. It could be for safety, too. But I think it's also just like a general, like, oh, what's this guy, like, about? I don't know. Like, does is his social media presence, like, him on a fucking boat with yeah, a be, chain? Like, well, it's the- also like you men are married. Yeah. That's the other thing. I've hooked up with married dudes not knowing that they were married. And I was like, oh. But, but their social media didn't show it either. That's what was If you're a wife me. and you're not on your husband's social media. Some women aren't online. The, the women that David, David loves, the mole yeah. women. Oh, they're right. married. These five women. You don't call them <laughs> the mole women. That's rude. That's very rude. Their names are Jessica and other things. <laughs> they're all named Jessica. They're all named Jessica. I've been toying with the idea of doing stand-up, but where do I start out with writing jokes? What are some tips on where to start first and finding your pocket or your voice? I'd be happy to take you out for coffee and talk about that. (laughs) (laughs) No. (laughs) That's a great question. No, it's not. I don't give a shit. Figure it out. Figure it out. out. You want to do it? There's a bunch of YouTubes about it. Go to a fucking open mic. Quit asking people. Yeah. You know what? I love that. I think we should Do you know the comedian John Roy? Yeah. Yes. He has online like John Roy's comedy school. Like he Delete doesn't like that shit. No, no, no. He doesn't like that people get paid to teach stand up. Yes. He hates that. So he just put it all on the internet for oh, free. Oh, that's great. It's like all on the internet. So Google like John Roy's comedy school or whatever. And like he has all about like how to go to mics and blah, blah, blah. It's like just general information. But I don't you're like saying that. you want no one to have any help or hand holding. Just go do it. That's what you did at the end of the day. That's what you did, right? Yeah, but some people don't, some people know don't how even to... know like where to go. When well, I... then maybe this isn't for you. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> well, maybe she's also talking about yeah, at... David. You sound like a Republican. You gotta lift yourself from your bootstraps. Yeah, man. Maybe I'm a. Stop Republican. asking for a government handout. Well, stop asking for a David hand. And also, what do you think? I'm gonna tell you. You think I'm smart? No, I just went to a million open mics. Okay, okay, but but I, I think the part of the, the question that I thought was really good, too, was, like, about finding your voice and stuff. Like, if she doesn't know what to, or he or she doesn't know what to write jokes about, I mean, my I, only you know advice would be, like, write, write about write yourself. About? Right, right. At the beginning, just write about yourself. Like, nobody needs to hear your, like, what's the deal with everything bagels joke, like, at the beginning, you know? Like, Are you just, you just going to go, like, my friend Shane Torres? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a joke that he does? Yeah. Why? Everything bagels are so good. (laughs) She didn't say oops. She said (laughs) why. By the way, Shane Torres was at my wedding. I love him. Yeah, Shane is great. He's a friend. (laughs) That's hilarious. Uh, that is a good answer. I'm not going to answer it. Yeah, I would say, <laughs> you know what I've used to help? The only, yeah. the only advice I've given people about writing stand-up or finding your own voice is because the the mistake that a lot of young comics make is they talk about sex obsessively. Yes. Oh, and they God, use yeah. bad language. And I have told people, if you cannot talk about sex and you cannot cuss, you can find jokes that are yours faster. Yeah. Do you know right. what I mean? That's like, fair. Because I had that whole, whole, I fucking am scared of pussy. That was like the first (laughs) joke. That's funny, though. First joke. But the thing is, too, like, and you you can talk about sex later. Just know that sex jokes are always going to be there. But finding your voice is, like, it's it's easier to get to if you try to, I don't want to say be clean, but just attempt to that's not a, be that's shocking. That's really good advice, yeah, I think. that's a very good Also, yeah. because I think also we both have seen a lot of, like, Sarah Silverman wannabes right. and stuff, too. And, like, so don't try to I use mean, someone I else's d- yes, voice. Yeah, right. you know? but that's the thing is I think that's where it starts is you see some really great shocking love, humor. Right. Yeah. Because they do. They have great shock, shock yeah. humor. Uh, most comics that they can write a good shock joke that they've been doing it for over 10 years. But the problem is when a, no, a new person... Attempts it, they're just like pussy dick. Well, I yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Too, when you're young, you're like, you know, you're probably like 20, 21, you're fresh up. You don't know, you don't know. How yeah, you're are. like, I'm saying dirty words in front of adults. Like, you sure. think that's the And shit. when you're like a year into comedy, like, you're definitely not reinventing the wheel on right. a sex oh, joke. Like, right. You're not giving us anything yes. groundbreaking. Yeah, that's why it's like good to talk about yourself. Yeah, talk about yourself, your family, yeah. your life. Like, and whatever. that's not gonna sustain you for an hour. Right. Like, your sex points aren't probably going to yeah, be a, right. That's not what the job is, ultimately. Right. And I also think, because you, you, you're assuming this person is young, but I've also oh, yeah, they seen could be that old. someone who starts later is usually funnier. I started later. I started at 27. Yeah. Usually people over 30, I think, are funnier immediately because they've lived their life yeah. a little right. bit. And so they have more to talk about. That's why I so. never understand when people are like, this comic is so awesome. 
She's 17. Yeah. yeah you're like, Why oh. do I care? She's yeah. lived nothing. Yeah. Like, what is it? What? Yeah. Soccer practice jokes? What are yeah. we talking about? Yeah, I remember they were, like, trying to push this 12-year-old on Women Crush Wednesdays or something, and I was like, I don't want to hear her dad's jokes. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that's all that shit is. She's just saying her dad's jokes. Yeah. Like, I'm not, no, no thanks. Well, that wraps our show. Thank you both, Kara and David. Follow them on social media. Please, we need it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I don't have, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't, the G is silent, everyone. The G is silent. <laughs> you welcome, bitch. Peace out.